guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i made a mirrored headboard now what i did was i went on pinterest and looked for inspirations here's some of the headboards that i looked at i'm going to show you a few that i found on pinterest After I decided the size that I wanted and the style I wanted, I went to Home Depot and I picked up this uh, MDF board and I had them cut it down. The other pieces of board that I used, uh, this one is a decorative molding that I actually purchased at Home Depot. And the others I had, except this middle one here, also purchased from Home Depot. And the rest I had at home from other projects that I used for this one. So I measured all the pieces that I was going to need and I had them cut down to size uh, using my miter saw. A lot of times after I've cut pieces of wood, what I do is I save some of the end pieces and I'm going to show you what I do with them. This really is a great tip that I learned. That's what I mean. I have the piece of wood underneath my molding and I just use it to stabilize the molding because it is really flimsy. I know some people would use a hand saw, but since I have an electric saw, I figure why not just use that, save myself the effort of cutting back and forth, back and forth. So now I'm attaching the leg, what I consider the leg, to the uh, MDF board that will be holding the mirrored headpiece. So this is just me attaching it and I will show you guys uh, what I mean at the end of the video, I'll show you a picture on how I'm going to use these legs to attach to the actual bed frame. Okay guys, now I have my friend that came over to help me out because I'm telling you, squeezing out this uh, mirrored adhesive is really, really hard. So he came to help me and here he is putting the adhesive on the back of the mirrors. So here I'm using a clear Gorilla Glue and it works on mirrors. So I'm just using it to adhere the millwork to the mirrors. So I've adhered all the millwork to the mirrors using a uh, clear Gorilla Glue. Um, I used some books also, I didn't record it, to press down on the millwork that they will seal firmly onto the mirrors.
So you can see at the bottom how I attached the legs and I have that one half an inch by four inch MDF board across that I'll attach the frame to. This is how I attach the frame to the headboard. This is my completed mirrored headboard. So this is Carol from Inspired By and thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do so just click that subscribe button and the notification button so you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. I will be redoing this room so uh, stay tuned to see what it looks like in the end.